What's going on guys, WhiteFox1225 here, and today we have even more news on the much anticipated Somerset expansion for ESO. I have a bunch of tidbits of info to share covering things like the new zone, Julie crafting, the new trial, update 18, and a lot more. So let's just jump right in and start with the new zone. The Somerset zone will have 6 dells for you to explore, 6 world bosses, and 2 new public dungeons which if you guys remember are not the 4 man dungeons but basically just these huge delves that you're probably going to need to bring some friends with to complete and usually they offer something cool if you grind them enough like a new pet or a new costume. Overall that's pretty much exactly the same as Varnerfell, the zone that we got with Morrowind. We will however get a brand new PV activity called the Abyssal Geysers. Zenimax called these quote, a new group activity that spawns waves of fierce monsters that must be shut down before they overrun the surface. Basically to me this sounds exactly like Dark Anchor is just a new version which is totally fine I'm not saying that's a bad thing. The more group content the better in my opinion so I'm all for this and I'm pumped to see what they actually look like. I just wouldn't expect anything much different than Dark Anchors with a new skin. Moving on though, let's talk about Cloud Rest, the new 12 man trial that's coming this summer. It's going to be pretty similar to Clockwork City's Asylum Sanctorium in the way that you choose which order to fight the bosses in or fight them all at once. I'm honestly a little disappointed by that and I don't think I'll be the only one. I was really, really hoping for a full fledged trial, something that we've seen in the past traditionally. To Zenimax's credit, this trial does have one extra boss and Zenimax did promise it would be much more difficult and much longer to complete so hopefully it scratches that itch for a full new trial but still a little disappointing and I'm not completely sure why they went that route but they did end up hyping it up a lot and especially hyped up the difficulty of the trial saying it quote requires previously unheard of amounts of cooperation and coordination and it would be the hardest group challenge in the game so that would probably make some people really excited if you're a hardcore end game pve -er, I'm sure you're pretty pumped right now and if you weren't already, the new item sets that come with Cloud Rest will be available in a perfected variety if you complete it on the hardest version. So there's definitely going to be a lot of people grinding out to try and get the best gear. I assume that perfected quality will be the new best gear in the game. Uh, and that's not confirmed, that's just my speculation. But definitely see a lot of people grinding this trial over and over trying to get this stuff. And so hopefully it will bring some enjoyment to those really hardcore endgame guys. Next up I want to talk about Julie crafting though, it was confirmed that it will work pretty much exactly like the other crafting skills in the game where you can create jewelry, deconstruct jewelry, research, and improve your items. Uh, they did also mention again that there are 6 brand new traits that will come with jewelry, and we got an early look at 2 of them, the first one being Harmony, which increases the effectiveness of any synergies that you activate, and the second one is Bloodthirsty, which increases your damage against low health enemies. That's all we got, it's not too much info, but hopefully it gives you guys a little sneak peek into what these traits will actually be like. Of course, along with all the paid content we get, we'll also get a free update 18 that will come to everyone, regardless of whether you buy the expansion or not. This time around, ESO is getting daily login rewards, where just by logging in, you get free consumables, gold, special collectibles, and even crown crates. It's not a huge deal, but it's a really nice touch and a nice free thing for Zenimax to give us and give us a little extra incentive to jump into Tamriel every day. With the update, you'll also be able to gift items from the crown store. Pretty much any item can be gifted, which is pretty cool. So maybe your buddy has having his birthday and you just want to give him a little something or someone carries you through a dungeon and you want to give him a reward. Now you can send them items from the crown store. My only concern with this though is that it now would allow players to basically use real world money in the game, meaning I could just sell my awesome crown store mount for gold well, once you do that, you're now really messing up the economy because you're basically buying gold with real world money. I'm sure Zenimax will have rules against that as they already do in the game, and I'm sure they'll crack down pretty well on people who abuse the system. So I'm not saying this is an absolutely terrible game breaking thing, like other MMOs do this, World of Warcraft has done this for a while, but I just have some worries about what it means for the trading and economy of the game, and I just hope Zenimax really pays attention to if players are abusing the system or not. It could just be me being super paranoid, so just keep that in mind too. We'll just have to wait and see how it works out in the end, I guess. Changing subjects though, we're also getting daily battleground rewards with update 18. If you guys ever did the random dungeon finder that's in the game right now, it's pretty much the same thing. You'll receive rewards for the first time you complete a battleground match every day. And so hopefully more people will be playing battlegrounds and we'll have some more PvP action. 
But that is pretty much it for the news this week, guys. I will absolutely be covering the expansion in the near future. So if you do want to see that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, I would much appreciate it if you could drop it a like. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.